stuff that's on offer here was just so brilliant and yeah, I loved it. I initially chose to study classical studies at Royal Holloway um, I because I really loved the site. I remember, I think I knew somebody that went here and I saw a picture that she'd taken of the founder's building and was instantly like, where is that? I want to go there. Um, and then looked it up when I was looking at universities and saw that they did um, a range of classics courses and one that fitted me perfectly was the classical studies course and came and visited and just fell in love with the place. I really like the proximity to London. Um, for me that was really important because I do a lot of music and therefore I can really get in, easily get into London for the museums, um, for concert venues, for culture, for all of that sort of stuff. Um, but it's also accessible to the countryside and it's quiet and it's lovely. Um, so it's a place to be, there's, yeah, there's nowhere quite like it. I think doing my course, the things that I enjoyed the most were the opportunity to pick and choose the modules that I wanted to do. So I wasn't, I didn't have to spend loads of time doing the, the history modules and things that I didn't really want to do and I could really focus on the literature and the, um, the sort of the culture things that I really enjoyed um, and I had a lot of freedom within that there's the second year project course which meant that I could really sort of explore some areas in real detail that I was interested in and um, then the dissertation module in the third year which I just loved um, the variety of stuff that's on offer here was just so brilliant and yeah I loved it so while I was here, I was really heavily involved with the Savoy Opera Society. Um, I knew that I wanted to go and work in the arts in some way, but the, the societies and the things that you can do while you're here, it really helped me work out what I wanted to go and do, uh, life af what life after university might look like. Um, I really enjoyed the opportunity to have some, a go at something that wasn't studying and being on a production team for example something that I did that I really enjoyed and that sort of having a go at something in an environment that it doesn't really matter if it goes a bit wrong or if nobody comes to see the show but it means that you've had a go at it and you're it's an experience that you've then got that you can take forward into later life. So my career journey since graduating has been quite varied. Um, while I was doing a master's, um, which I did after my BA, I got a part-time job at Hampton Court Palace, which is really nearby. Um, I spent a year there working in the chapel and I did lots of music and administration things and I really loved it. Um, after that, I did a lot of applying for jobs um, in the arts sector in London. And I didn't, get, I didn't have a lot of luck um, applying for things because there's just a lot of people looking for jobs and it's really hard to find that one thing that makes you stand out from other people and I know that that's something that a lot of people really struggle with applying for jobs. Um, I was lucky enough to get a freelance position in my current company and from there I've done several sort of short-term freelance things until finally I was able to get a full-time job which is what I'm doing at the moment. Um, so it's been very bitty, it's been quite hard at times but ultimately it was worthwhile because currently I'm doing a job that I love and I really really enjoy. If there was one thing that made me stand out in the jobs that I was applying for I think it was that I had a real interest in the sector that I wanted to go into. I I didn't know exactly what I wanted to do day to day, I didn't know what I wanted to spend my nine to five doing but I knew where I wanted to be. I knew I wanted to be surrounded by music, I wanted to be surrounded by artistic people who were like-minded and enjoyed the things that they were doing on a day-to-day -day basis as much as I was and sort of loved the sector as much as I did and that's where I am now. I'm surrounded by people who are really passionate about classical music. Um, it helped me in job interviews that I was able to go and talk about. Um, I think this is the best symphony and all that sort of thing. I think it really helped me and I yeah, would recommend anybody to cultivate the thing that you're passionate about really when you're applying for jobs because that's the thing that's going to make you stand out. So something that I got from my classics degree, my classical studies degree, that's really helped me in my day-to-day -day life now in my current job is that I'm able to read a lot of information and be able to take it in and absorb what it means and I'm able to think critically about what it is that I'm reading, I'm able to assess um, different points and different points of view um, and I don't think I would have got that from any other degree. I think the fact that I had to read source material and then different criticisms of that source material just really helped me 
it helped me to be able to shape my own views as well as assess the views of others. The thing that I think I find the most rewarding about my current role is that I'm able to help people. Um, I'm able to help uh, the people that I work with and all the people, also the people that I work for because I'm talking to other people in my company and helping them out with contract payment legal questions that they're not able to answer and I'm also able to demystify some of those sort of things about payments that I myself found so hard when I first started working. I'm able to help demystify that for um, people outside of the company that I'm sending contracts to and I'm, I'm able to help explain them and talk them through payment processes and all of that sort of thing. Um, so being able to work with people is something that I'm, yeah, I just love doing. I think if I was to give any advice to a student currently at Royal Holloway looking to work in the sector that I'm currently in, it would be that you shouldn't be intimidated by the amount of people that there also there because it's something that's quite well known in the arts sector is that there's a lot of people applying for not very many jobs. Um, and that can be really hard, it can be really demoralising and you think, well what's the point, I'm never going to get anywhere. And it's You've got to remember what's special about you and what's what sets you apart from everybody else because there is something you know everybody's unique and everybody's brilliant and there are so many opportunities presented to you every day here that will help you set yourself apart from the rest of the pack i guess so yeah don't be afraid because you'll be fine